Hello my wonderful kids. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn class 3 mathematics. Chapter number 3. Lesson name is double century. Okay. And before going into the lesson, my kind request, please subscribe my channel and support me. Okay. And I also have a very important message for you all today. As you know, summer season is started. Please drink enough number of water to keep yourself hydrated. Take fresh juices and coconut water and do not take any canned or packed juices. Okay. Keep yourself healthy and keep yourself hydrated also. And you, as you know, this summer may cross 45 degrees. Many birds die due to lack of water. So, please keep a bowl of water for birds and animals in front of your balcony or in your house so that they can come and drink water. Okay, because they cannot ask water, right, if they need it. It's our responsibility to keep water for them. Alright, now let's go into the lesson. Lesson name is double century. So, century means 100 years. Double century is 200 years which is 100 into 2 200 double is 2 right so 2 into 100 it's 200 years the story of our numbers so all we are going to learn about the numbers children as you already know numbers are very very important in our day to day life because number is always next to us if you get up in the morning you see the clock, you can able to see the numbers over there. And if you want to ask breakfast, if you are taking idli or dosa, again you will ask one or two, right? And when you are reaching the school, teacher will count the number of students. And if someone asks you how many chocolates you need, again you will reply back in numbers. So numbers are always involved in our life and it is also very important. And we also need to know how to count the numbers. So, in this lesson, all we are going to learn about the numbers. So, 10 of thousand of years ago. So, 10 of thousands of years ago, which means it is a very, very long back. Okay. People started counting. So, very long time back itself, people started counting. So, the counting does not start recently. Okay, so we have started the number counting very long back. They wanted to keep record of their things. So, they made marks on the walls of the caves and on the barks of the trees. So, now if you want to make any records or if you want to count and make it uh, safe, what we will do? We will write in our notebook or we will save in our mobile phone. Okay. But thousands of years ago, there is no notebooks, there is no pencils for paper. So, what they will do, they will mark on their caves and the barks of their tree. Okay, so they will mark on the walls of the cave and barks of the tree to count the numbers. Over time, so the, now the time has been passed, they kept records of their things by making groups of 5, 10, 20 and 60. So now the time has passed, they got lot of animals. So they find difficult counting the numbers. So what they did, they divided into groups of 5, 10, 20 and 60. So it is very easy for them for counting. For example, if they are having 20 cows, they can divide the 20 cows into two groups which is 10 in one group, 10 in another group. So, 10 plus 10 is 20. So, likewise, they started counting in groups. Even they can make four groups also. Now, they have made two groups. We can make four groups also, which is four in each group. They have five cows. So, five fours are 20, right? So, they can make four groups. So, like this, they started making the groups for counting. So, let's imagine how they will mark these counting in their caves. So, imagine that this is the cave wall. So, I am going to mark the number of 
cows which is 20 in a group. So thousands of years ago, the ancient Indian created a method of writing a number. How large? Using only 10 symbols. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So thousands of years ago, ancient Indians created a symbol. So they have created a symbol how to write a number. So it was one of the most ingenious and creative invention in human history. So we all know the number is involved in our day-to-day -day life, right? So this is very important of the invention. So it made possible in the invention of TVs, computers, mobile phone and more. So this is the importance of the invention. So using numbers, we have inverted many things to this world. So look at the picture. Estimate and write the number of each of the following object. So we have a market over here. And they have listed oranges, bangles, ladoos, barfi, pindis and bananas. So we need to count each of the numbers. So let's start with orange. And again, we are going to count in groups and we will add them into. Okay. First, we will see oranges. So, we have two basket full of orange and there is two orange which is in separate. So, we will count how many orange in each basket. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 orange in one basket. The second one again, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 in each basket. So 10 plus 10 is 20. And we have two separate oranges. So 20 plus 2 is 22. So we have 22 oranges. Next we have bangles. So we are going to count the bangles again in a group. So let's see how many bangles are there in one group. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 bangles in one group. So totally we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 groups. So, in each group we have 10 bangles. So, 10 into 8 is 80 bangles. And you, did you check that lady? She is having 2 bangles in her hand. So, 80 plus 2 is 82 bangles. Now, we will count the number of laddus. On the bottom row, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 laddus. And in the middle row, again we have 10 laddus. And on the top row, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 laddus. So, 8 plus 10 plus 10 is 28 laddus. On the next one, we have burfis. So, we have 3 rows of burfi. On the top row, 1, 2, 2 burfis. On the middle row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 burfis. On the bottom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So again, 10 burfis. So on the top row, 2. Middle row, 10. The bottom one, 10. So 2 plus 10 plus 10 is 22 burfis. Next we have bindis. So we will count the bindis and there are 7 packets of bindis and there is another girl she is having a small bindi packet. So first we will check the big packets how many are there in each packet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 bindis in one big packet. So, totally there are 7 packets. So, 7 into 10 is 70. And this kid, she is having one small packet in that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
five bindis are there. So seven t plus five is seventy five bindis, and these two ladies, she is having bindis. So one, two, two bindis, and the woman who is selling the bindi packet, she is also having bindi. So three. So seventy five plus three is seventy eight bindis. The last one we have for bananas. So we have three bunches of banana. We already know that banana will come in dozen. In one dozen we have twelve numbers of banana, but we we will count and we find out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve bananas are there. So we have three bunches. So three into twelve is thirty-six bananas. Find the missing numbers on the board. So we have snake and ladder board, and there are few numbers missing on it. Okay, let's first fill in the numbers. So one, two, three, four is missing. We can fill the four. So five. After that, six, seven, eight is missing. We can write eight, nine. Again, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We can write fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty is missing. We can write twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four is missing. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, ninety, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, ninety, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, ninety, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, ninety, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, ninety, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, ninety, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, ninety, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety Will you reach if you take the ladder from thirteen? So if we take the ladder from thirteen, which number we will reach? Now we will check the ladder and find out. So this is ladder, and check the number thirteen. So here is the number thirteen, and see where the ladder reaches. So from number thirteen, the ladder reached to number fifty. The next question: If you are on the snake at the number twenty-five, which number you will reach? Okay, we already know if we reach the ladder, we will climb up the board, and if we are on the snake, the snake will bite, so we will come down. So now let's check the number twenty-five. Look at the snake on the twenty-five. We reach twenty-five. We will again come back to number two. Third question: You are standing on ninety-six. Which number on the die will take you to the snake's mouth? So we are standing on ninety-six. Now let's check the board. So we have ninety six. After ninety six, we have ninety seven, ninety eight, and ninety nine. So three numbers. So if we the dice rolled three, then we will reach the snake's mouth at ninety nine. Last question. Show the number 
written on the tail of the longest snake using bundles and loose stick okay let's look into the longest snake and see where it reaches so the longest snake's head starts at number 99 and it reaches number 53 see that 99 to 53 so we can divide these into bundles and single sticks loose sticks so bundles we can divide into five bundles each group we have 10 numbers so 10 fives are 50 and three loose sticks one two three so 50 plus 3 is 53 Okay, students, we will see the rest of the lesson on the part 2 video. I'll upload the part 2 video shortly. Okay, till then, please practice all the questions which we completed on the part 1. Okay, time to practice. So, please practice more than one or two times till you get the correct answer. And if you have any question, please send me an email so that I can clarify your doubts. Check the email address on the description box. Okay. And again, a kind request please subscribe my channel and support me. And you can also watch the upcoming lessons. All right. So, she, I'll upload the part 2 video very shortly. All right. So, press the like button, subscribe, and the bell symbol. Thank you for watching, my wonderful kids. You all take care.